sorry. It's coming. You can continue the old-fashioned way. If yes. You like. <laughs> Just give me one second. I will do it the old-fashioned way if I have to, but it won't be quite the same. On March 27th is when Mr. Nifong began making his statements. And on that day, according to a poll conducted by Ms. Black's campaign, voters were asked, if your primary election were held today, what would you, who, for whom would you vote? And that was the results. 37% vote said that they would vote for Ms. Black. 20% said they would vote for Mr. Nifon. So he's got three percentage vote Ms. Black has before, when he starts making these comments. Of course, 35 days later, Mr. Nifon wins by 45%. What happened in that 35 days between March 27th and March 2nd? Well, he went on the Dan Abrams show, as we saw, and he went on WREL, and he went to the forum, and he talked with another news media, and he went on the Today Show, and he went on NBC, MSNBC, and again on the Today Show, and on the early show, and on CBS again, and again on the early show, and then on MSNBC where he demonstrated what he claimed the evidence would be if Ms. Mangum were called to testify. And finally, and most significantly, he got up at a political forum for the district attorney's race and essentially declared people who he had already decided to indict guilty of a gang racially motivated crime. 